here we go it's day two and uh, here's a little bit of nice seed to relax you before I give you the moans about the internet charges you can have it for the whole voyage or for the day and a couple of good tips for you have you paid your money out for your internet I'm just doing it daily it's really good to bring an alarm clock with a light on and water because you have to pay for these and a light because it's so dark at night here we are on a little bit of a walk about the boat this is deck two just going along to the dining room because joe's got out of the bed because she's feeling better now we've left the bay of biscay so we're going for an evening meal in the britannia restaurant And in this section of the boat, there's lots of games, people play cards. My sister-in-law would like the uh, jigsaw. I suppose it's a little bit annoying that when you go out to have something to eat or drink, you come back, people have added parts onto it. It's almost finished when you get back. Or they mess it up. journey we pass the, uh, the Royal Theatre and you can see some of the people involved in running the ship. There's a nice big layout of the, um, the, the ship so I'll take a photograph of that and we know for future where we are. Eventually they'll have to 60 days I should know where I am on the ship but that's not guaranteed. This is the Grand Lobby the casino on the side. To speed up the last part of our journey as we get to the restaurant. Some big murals here. And on the right of the photographer's department got lots of photos, lots of packages you can have. On the left is the Red Lion pub, you know, post box, the central lift at about six cents a lift, and we're now in the restaurant. The uh, salad to start, and I had a roast lamb. I ruined it the picture with the mint sauce, and then a meringue for dessert. So we take a trip through the uh, art gallery. But there's some fantastic paintings and different styles of painting. The um, some nice pictures of some lions and tigers that remind me of the style of my good friend Geoffrey Tristram, who's an illustrator and fine artist from Wollaston, Stourbridge. Yeah, look at the detail on the eyes. And I'll zoom in on another one in a minute I can see coming up on my right.
just on the right, fantastic detail. Look at the eyes. All done with a paintbrush. Just like Jeffrey Tristram. Here we are in the Royal Court Theatre to see the McDonald Brothers, a Scotland's versatile duo. So earlier in the day I had a little walk around on my own, this girl was not well still, different recovery. This is a lift that goes on the outside of the ship, doesn't do all the floors. Right, just leave the room because the girl wasn't very good again. Well, it's not really worth it. It's right at the front. It's really bad yesterday. The day you can see it's not really full of lines down. The numbers are going to be a Which is so close. This is a bit of a back way. So it's sort of the side. Trolley to the room uh, service stuff. Park here. But it's locked. You can't go outside. It's just... Anyway, here's the little lift. Now we're in the Commodore Club, all the previous Commodores and different top bars you can have. And I go for a dark and stormy in memory of my friend Rod Mason. I suppose I should mention Rod Mason's not dead, he's alive and kicking. I was just thinking about him. It just sounded like he passed away when I said, in memory of, I'm just thinking about him. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon now and I've come to one of the uh, Britannia Insights and it's Andrew Cooper talking about the wild west of Europe. In particular the Spanish lynx that is very, very rare now. They are, have a breeding program that release 150 to 200 new babies, or do they call them cubs? I can't remember each year. Just checking the uh, lifeboats as they're making announcements that we've now docked in Lisbon. They're just getting the air bridge out and do the necessary paperwork. So I'll be off the ship shortly. So, have you enjoyed tonight, Joe? You've got out of bed, haven't you? Thank you. Yeah, seen the McDonald brothers. Pretty good act. So we come to the Commodore Lounge now. It's dark and stormy.